Uh, Mike, the market is catching up to where you were six months ago. It's been driven by the vaccine. It started on the 9th uh, of November with the Pfizer news. Does it worry you now that where you were many months ago is now the consensus trade? Well, I mean, first it makes me happy. Uh, the, market, <laughs> the market's worked uh, kind of in the way we'd hoped. Uh, but, I, yes, it's, it's gotten a little uh, frothy here in the last couple of weeks um, with – you know, but I would also kind of argue that that's what should happen, right? I mean, you know, we've been waiting, waiting, waiting uh, for the catalyst to get people more excited about the recovery. And, of course, the vaccine is a pretty visible catalyst. Um, I would also throw in the U.S. election, you know, sort of getting behind us for the most part. We have to do this uh, Senate runoff still, which we can talk about in a minute, the potential risk there. But generally, people are, want to look forward now, and they, you know, they understand that, the value in the market is in these parts of the market that will benefit the most from a fully reopening economy, small caps being uh, the biggest beneficiary in the last 30 days. So, yeah, it's frothy. Uh, bull markets tend to get overshoot a little bit in the short term. Uh, any kind of pullbacks will probably be bought. Um, but, yeah, right here, do I, am, I, am I incrementally bullish today from 30? No. I think you know, we've had a big move. We've got to digest some of this. Uh, but that's okay. That's what bull markets do. Uh, you also mentioned when in your note out where you put out your uh, 2021 outlook that the fear next couple of weeks could be a little dicey and make you a little nervous, particularly when cases were moving higher. Um, is that uh, short term scenario off the table for you? Well, like I, I mean, like I said, Alex, I think that year end is an interesting time always. What I would say is the following. Um, the, the market is overbought. The market is probably a little bit overvalued, quite frankly, because interest rates now are finally starting to catch up. That's the one market that, you know, I feel like it's still mispriced the most, right? So, you know, if you told me that you know, the vaccine when it came out, you know, that small caps would be up 20 percent, S&P all-time highs, Europe at all-time, you know, recovery highs, and the 10-year Treasury yield still below 1 percent, I would have said I don't really understand that. So, so to me, the risk in the market now, the biggest risk that I see is that 10-year yields finally start catching up. We have a valuation reset uh, because, you know, stocks are long-duration assets, particularly the U.S. stock market. Uh, and, you know, that could create a bit of a correction. But, but it's a correction, Alex. So, you know, I would welcome that because it would make me, uh, you know, more comfortable putting even additional capital to work. Uh, but to me, that's the risk that I think most people are kind of overlooking is that, you know, good news uh, can become somewhat bad news for equities because bond markets have not yet fully priced that good news.